welcome to the first edition of AB to Z for the 2013 to 2014 school year. I'm Tom O'Hara and here's what's happening. Last Thursday, September 26th, was a classic back to school night for parents. The evening started around 7 with Principal Joanne Campbell making opening comments. Next, the parents followed their students' schedules in order to learn more about the school and their child's teachers. The night was very popular among parents and the school was packed. Yet again, back to school night was a success. The Acton Boxborough Student Activities Fund, also known as ABSAF, is once again holding its all-important annual drive. Donations in any amount are welcome, and for a donation of $150 or more, you and, you and your immediate family will receive an ABSAF pass. The ABSAF pass admits you to most home extracurricular events, including athletic and cultural events, such as school plays. For more info, or to make a donation, go to www.absaf.org. Recently, the annual Student Activities Fair was held in Student Center East. The two-day fair took place during all lunch periods, allowing students to learn more about any clubs or activities they were interested in and sign up if they wanted to get, to get involved. We asked some students why they went to the activities fair. It just looked like it would be fun, like look at some new cool clubs to join, like maybe find something to do. We also met up with one of the fair presenters and asked her, asked her what her club was all about. Uh, we meet Tuesdays and Thursdays and discuss things, you know, different topics that we don't necessarily learn in school, and then we go to uh, competitions and face other schools and uh, hopefully win. <laughs> in sports news, fall weeknight open gym is finally underway. The Fieldhouse Gym is open for teen basketball on most Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 to 8.30. It will run until Thursday, November 21st, and, is, and admission for students is only $2. The AB High School Hockey Boosters are holding the 10th Annual Golf Tournament on Thursday, October 3rd. It will take place at the Stowe Acres Country Club in Stowe at 12.30. The day includes golf with friends, dinner, and a silent auction to help support the high school hockey teams. For more info, log on to www.abyha.org. The football team is once again expected to compete for a DCL title and a playoff berth. If the Colonials do qualify for the postseason, things will be drastically different as a new statewide playoff system has been created. This means more teams qualify for the playoffs, but also means a lot of changes, confusion, and uncertainty. Several AB fall teams are off to great starts. Both the girls' and boys' soccer teams have winning records, as do boys' and girls' cross-country. But it's the varsity field hockey team that continues to dominate the competition. The defending state champions are unbeaten on the year and most recently crushed DCL large rival Westford 4 to nothing. It looks like AB field, field hockey has another shot at a state championship. That does it for this edition of AB to Z. I'm Tom O'Hara. Thanks for watching, everyone.